Alrighty, Aries. So this is going to be a reading for August 12th through the 17th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and see what energies you guys may experience for this week. You guys already know this is a general reading. So everything I say in this may or may not apply to you. So take everything with a grain of salt, okay? Also, if you do want a personal reading, all of that information will be listed below as well as in the comment section. We do have the tarot classes running again. So if you were interested in signing up, you have until August 19 to do so. As well as um, we have some awesome sales going on as far as the reading. So check that out if you are in need of guidance. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. What's going on with my lovely Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aries for August 12th through the 17th? What is the energy my Aries can experience or expect to experience for the month of, or not the month, the week of August 12th through the 17th? Aries, August 12th through the 17th. All right, let's see. All righty. Energy surrounding my Aries love life for August 12th through the 17th. What is the energy that they may be experiencing surrounding their love life? Aries for August 12th. Through the 17th. Aries. And advice for their love life. Aries love life for August 12th through the 17th. All right. So let's go ahead and start talking about all the cards we have laid out. Let me actually fix you guys so you guys can see them. All right. Perfect. So Aries for August 12th through the 17th, a lot of you guys, your main focus is really about the future. Um, you're thinking about the future. You're thinking about where you want to see yourself in 2020 for some of you guys. Like you really have your eye on the prize when it comes to um, your manifestations, when it comes to some projects that you guys have been working on and just getting ahead in life. Um, a lot of you guys as well. I feel like in the week of August 12th through the 17th is going to offer you a chance to really, again, take a step back, look at your situation, kind of see what needs to be fixed as far as, okay, am I spending too much? Um, do I need to get another job? Like kind of having like a reality check within yourself or checking in with yourself when it comes to just exactly where you're at on your path. And for a lot of you guys, that is going to help you a lot, really and truly see uh, how to grow and flourish. So definitely take the time this week to do that. OK, especially if you have been a little confused as to where your journey is taking you. Another thing I am seeing for my Aries Again, I'm just seeing this main focus on you just taking authority over your own life. I kind of saw this for you guys last week where you guys have just been just taking control back, not allowing other people to have control over you, but to have control over yourself. And a lot of you guys this week, you will be taking control over a lot of circumstances within your situation, especially if you have been dissatisfied with any situations or really just fed up and bored with um, the way things have been going here. OK, um, a lot of you guys as well. If there is any sort of discontentment or boredom that you may be feeling in any sort of area in your life, make sure this week that you are kind of grasping why you're discontent with it and why you're bored with it so that you can actually change that around because sometimes we're bored and we're done with certain things, but we don't acknowledge why. And the why is the most important thing because it tells you what needs to be changed in your situation or your circumstance. But beyond that, for a lot of you guys as well, I feel like in the, the week of, I keep wanting to say month, for the week of August 12th through the 17th, a lot of you guys, your heart chakra is going to be popping. Okay. For some of you guys, um, it's either your heart chakra is going to be popping. You're going to be in areas with a, an open heart chakra and open to love. You may be even dealing with somebody who may, you know, just make your heart 
fly and whatnot. For others of you, you may be an Aries who may need to work on your heart chakra. And this may be tying into some family issues here, which we will talk about later in the reading. But with this, there is a need for um, some of my Aries to work on their heart chakra. For some of you guys, you will be um, actually like opening up when it comes to love uh, this week. Another thing I am seeing for my Aries for this week, when it comes to any sort of financial prosperity that you're wanting to see, especially if it's like the big, big bucks, there's a need for you to really be patient when it comes to your path. Understand that what you, what you do to water your plant or to nurture your plant is going to showing the results. So if you didn't take the time to water your plants and you didn't, you know, make sure that it got enough sunlight, if you didn't do all of that, then you're not going to see much growth. But if you're constantly doing what you need to do to make the the plant flourish and grow like how it's supposed to, then you will see the full manifestation. So same thing with your projects in real life. If you give up on yourself, then you give up on the, you know, the growth process. So be patient. Okay. Patience showed up twice right next to each other. So the universe really wants you to know patience is needed and you will succeed. All right. So let's actually talk about your love life and then we'll actually look more in depth of what you guys are going to be experiencing for this week. <clears throat> So for your love life, we have make the effort. It says great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And then we also have worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work with your love life. So for some of you guys, you may not be that social or let me not say social. You may not be that um, community. That's not even a word. You may not communicate as much this week with your person. For some of you guys, you may have like other responsibilities taking up your time here. Um, the universe is saying, make sure that you're making an effort. For some of you guys, your partner may need to make more of an effort if it's not you. Um, I also feel like within your love life, there is some, um, there is some things that is going to take some time to be revealed, especially if there is certain things that you are noticing about your relationship. Again, give it time. Things will be clear to you. Um, I also feel as if for some of you guys, um, there could be children affecting your relationship as far as like either you guys having children um, outside of the relationship or within the relationship. This may even be like childish behavior or somebody's childhood crush or something like that that could be affecting the relationship. But another thing I have here or another card that I have here for your love life, it says sexual union. It says honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for you will find true bliss. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like the person that you may be dealing with, you may have like some sort of sexual connection with them. Um, and I feel like there is a need for you guys to honor each other beyond that. Like it's not just a sexual thing. Um, make sure you guys are honoring each other that honor, honoring each other beyond that and letting each other know that it's more than just a sexual thing. All right. So let's go ahead and get into your actual spread. What's going on with my Aries for August 12th through the 17th? Aries for August 12th through the 17th. Aries situation for August 12th through the 17th. All right. So energy coming into this week, last week's energy guidance for this week, the op score issue that may come up and the outcome of this week. All righty. So let's go ahead and talk about these cards. So for this week, Aries, I'm definitely seeing that a lot of you guys are starting some sort of new relationship with somebody or some sort of new connection or there's like some sort of new spark. For some of you guys, it may not even be a new connection. This just may be like a new spark happening in the relationship. For some of you guys, like I said, it is completely new. 
But this could be with the water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm getting strong Cancer energy. Doesn't have to be. I'm just seeing strong water energy in general. But with this, it doesn't even have to be a water sign. I'm just getting a sense of deep emotions being expressed between you guys or felt between both of you. It's like you feel deeply about this person. This person feels deeply about you. And with the Six of Wands, you could be feeling like this person... Um, you and this person have a chance for a very successful relationship and you could be wanting this relationship to be very, very successful. All right. But coming into this week, we do have the wheel of fortune starting off. And with this, again, there's some sort of turn of events happening for you guys. Um, there could be like some good luck, um, some good, good luck coming around for you guys after really being patient and waiting and doing the necessary work for like evaluating yourself and like what exactly you have to bring to the table in all aspects. This could be um, good luck in career for some of you guys if it's not in a love sense. But I am seeing that, yes, there is a turn of events when it comes to you evaluating possibly a relationship with somebody and you may be taking the steps necessary to build a connection. Now, rushing into anything, but really taking your time. And for some of you guys, this could be because of good karma that's coming in for you, some of you guys. But for a lot of you guys... um. A lot of things that are taking place in your situation right now are a form of karma. So if good things are happening to you, then it's because you inquired good karma. If there's like, you know, really, really weird situations coming up, there may be some karmic situations that you may need to deal with within those. But everything that's happening right now is a form of karma. Now, what I am seeing for last week's energy, I do have the four of wands with this. Your focus may have been on your foundation and also like your achievements, making sure that you are grounded in a financial approach, especially if you are somebody who's creative and you make money through creative endeavors. Um, also with the four of wands, this may have been you in a twin flame connection last week and really feeling the harmonious energy of the twin flame connection. All right. And really like trying to come together with someone and really just trying to work together when it came to the relationship, especially if this is someone who you reconciled with or somebody who finally decided to uh, get into a relationship with. OK. But what I am seeing for the guidance for this week, we do have the King of Wands with this. The universe is saying, make sure you're taking care of your responsibilities this week. Don't get sidetracked by BS. Make sure as well that you are really standing in your power, staying true to you and also being patient when it comes to the manifestations of your work here. OK, it is on its way to you, especially financially. It's just going to take some time. All right. And what I am seeing for the op score issue that may come up this week, I do have the eight of cups. This may be walking away from certain situations that you're not emotionally completely happy with or like somebody who you walked away from trying to come back around here. All right. But for some of you guys, this could be like a home situation. Like this doesn't have to be a relationship. This could be a home situation for some of you guys. It could be a relationship. Um, this could even be a job, whatever area in your life. I feel like there may be an issue with you making a decision about, you know, making the necessary steps to be in a better position. That's going to make you happier. Now, what I am seeing for the outcome of the week, I do have the page of cups with this. You may be again, dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio doesn't have to be, but with this, you definitely are dealing with somebody who's trying to present their feelings to you or trying to see where things could go in a love sense. And for some of you guys, you may be a little like anxious or worried or even overthinking things when it comes to this connection, but I feel like you will get the clarity you need when it comes to the situation to put you at ease. All right. Especially if there is any other people attached to the situation. So that's what I'm seeing, Aries. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that I was able to give you guys some sort of clarity or guidance. Again, if you do want a personal reading, that information will be listed below in the comment section as well as the description box. Again, make sure you guys sign up for the tarot classes if you guys are interested. The last day to sign up will be August 17, I believe. Um, and then the classes will start on August 19. All that information will be below. Thank you guys so much for your support. Likes, comments, shares, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, Aries.